If you'd like to use Prezi to create a mind map, first of all, if you don't already have one, you'll need to create a Prezi account. And you can do that by going to Prezi.com. When you get there, make sure you choose to create an Edu account because that gives you some extra storage space for your Prezi's and a little bit of extra functionality. And it's still a free account, but because you all have uh, University of Sheffield email addresses that you can use to register with Prezi, it will recognise that you're a student of an academic institution and therefore it gives you a slightly better account and it's still for free. Once you've registered for an account, when you go to Prezi and you log in with your account, you'll see a tab called Your Prezi's and obviously if it's a new account there won't be anything in there yet, uh, but what you'll need to do to get started is to click on New Prezi on the left hand side. And give it a title, so you could call it Mind Map, but call it whatever you like. And a description, so you could call it Mind Map for my MSc Health Informatics dissertation. And then click on New Prezi again. And then the editing window of Prezi will open up. It will offer you various templates that you can use to help get you started. Um, that might be helpful to you, but today I'm just going to demonstrate using a, a blank Prezi. So I'm going to choose what's set by default, which is a blank template, and just click on Start Editing in the bottom right hand corner. And then the area where you can design your mind map loads up. It's often referred to as the canvas. Now there's lots of information on Prezi's website and there's videos about how to create Prezi's and all the stuff you can do. So I'm going to keep this very, very simple. Um, but basically, if you want to add some text to your Prezi, you can click anywhere on the canvas and start typing. Um, so if I wanted to, it gives you a kind of an initial circle in the middle of your uh, Prezi or in the middle of your mind map where you can start working from but I'm actually going to delete that by clicking on the little trash can just so I've got a completely blank canvas and then in the middle you can type your sort of your first idea it might be your whole research question or it might be the the first thing that comes into your head uh, about what you're interested in in doing your dissertation about so in my example that we just looked at I typed in web 2.0 because I knew I was interested in Web 2 but I just wasn't sure yet exactly what I wanted to do my research about. Now to draw a little circle around that you can go into the insert menu, choose shapes and choose a circle and then very much as you might do in, in PowerPoint or Microsoft Word you just drag and you can create a circle and if I right click on it and click send backwards there you go, I now have a circle with my text in the middle of it. And obviously that's the, the basic uh, thing you'll need to do to create a mind map because it's just going to be a series of these circles with uh, concepts in the middle of them. But to join them all up together, I'd uh, use some arrows and you can draw those on quite easily in the same way. So if you click on insert again and choose shapes and then choose the arrow, you can then click and an arrow appears and you can extend it however far you want it let go and then now I can draw another circle add some more text or do whatever I want to do next so for instance here I can do my uh, patients uh, or population thing for my PICO if I want to break my uh, question down using PICO so I can type patient population and then I can do the same thing again put a circle around it by clicking on shapes. The other way you can add a circle around things is by going into the frame menu instead. If I click on frame and choose circle, you can draw a circular frame around things instead. The effect is largely the same. So whatever you want to do. And obviously I can just keep clicking and dragging around the canvas to move around and add more arrows and add more uh, circles and concepts onto my mind map as I wish. And you can use the plus and minus buttons on the left hand side to zoom out or in on your mind map. So as it becomes more complex, obviously, 
you'll probably be wanting to zoom out more so you can see what you're doing. Um, I can add in down here intervention or innovation put a circular frame around it if you want to move from one of the menus to another you just need to click in this blue area here and then you can choose a different bubble from the menu in this case I'm going to go to insert and shapes because I want that arrow again and I can draw a little arrow between my original concept and my concept of intervention or innovation. And you can just carry on in the same way, adding more concepts, putting circles around them and adding arrows until your mind map is complete. When you're finished, or if you're just part way through and you want to save and carry on another day, you can click at the top where it says saved at and just click again and it will have another save. Like so many online tools these days, it does save your Prezi intermittently as you're working on it, but it's always a good idea to just click save one more time before you exit and then you can click on exit and you'll be able to go back into your Prezi account another day and have a look at your mind map and carry on with it. There's lots of other tools that are specifically designed for mind mapping out there and obviously you can have a look in Google and find what's there uh, but I find Presley quite useful and simple for mind mapping and it, it works for me. Uh, so I just thought I'd put together a very short video to give you a, a very quick introduction to how you go about using it. Hopefully you can see that it is quite a simple tool to use.